how, how we should have known Hosmont was going to come out there. This is what he was going to do to Nate, I feel like. He wasn't going to try mm-hmm. to coast and see, make sure his cardio is good. He was going to come out, grab Nate Diaz, and fucking... Nate's like a smaller version of Kevin Holland. Yeah. You know what I mean? He like, was struggling at first, too. Like, he was good. Like, uh, Kevin was try- like trying to... He like, was doing some Grambies. He was doing some good rolls and shit, but really, Haz- Hamza was in a dominant position the entire time. Like, even when he was rolling, he was mm-hmm. doing good rolls, but Hamza just such good control and so fucking strong, dude. Oh, yeah. He's, an, he's a problem for 170 and 185. I don't know why he doesn't just go up to 85. If he's as good as he says he is, which we all... I mean... He is, yeah. and you, the first time didn't he do the towel thing? Yeah, I think like so missed weight, but yeah. then did the towel, lost five pounds real quick, yeah. and then comes in misses weight. He's the thing is, he said he could have made weight. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm do we wondering. believe that or no? Yeah, because I I want to know from you, champ. I've have, never had a doctor come in and say, "Hey, how's weight cut going? Yeah, you doing good?" Because if they do and they see you two hours before weigh-ins and you're sitting in the hot tub, they'd be like, "Oh shit!" And like they don't just come in and look on yeah. you. They don't check on you. I'm sure. Have you cramped up before? Have you ever I gotten, really, like, bad ah, dude. I've you feel like your your body, like the last couple minutes in the hot tub or in the hot bath, your heart rate's like like high. You feel like you're dying. Like I, if you close your eyes too long, you gotta open your eyes to make sure like you're you're like you're alive. It's yeah. scary. Ooh. Cutting weight's fucking scary. So I'm sure if a doctor came in and checked on you, you'd probably be like, uh. Yeah, you yeah. guys, you can't make weight. So I don't know what happened if if they Dana said he was starting to cramp up. I'm sure. I mean, it was. It's so weird. Yeah, I, I wish we knew the exact details right? behind that because he I, he said the doctors made him start drinking water and stuff. That's why it was yeah. so. And heavy. then him being all smirky on the scale and everything. See, I'm I'm, I'm curious why he didn't go on the scale. Had to open to say, "Hey guys, the doctors made me fuck." I, I'm sorry, could have made weight instead of being like it was close. Yeah. Damn till made me. I don't know, but like I said, it's, it's not gonna make him. Lo- even if he loses fans, it's like he's still a big name. Still For gonna sure. fucking. And I kind of thought Dana would still. Pu- I was hoping he would still punish him because now what does that show to like younger fighters? Yeah, yeah, who were like fight someone else on the card. But it was I loved Joe digging at him on the was post. He? Oh, were you not listening? Uh, oh. oh, saying can he you just, make one seventy? Just you know, well, and going hi. Can- yeah, and he's I going, you that. realize that if you're going to fight for the title, you have to make weight. I was loving it. I, I know. Like, it's going, like, Joe. I don't know if Hamza, is there a language barrier there or if he's just, yeah. like, not smart? Yeah. I don't <laughs> sure know. Sure, it's a language barrier, but I think at the same time, he just doesn't, he didn't care. I don't think he cares. Yeah, you got to care. I mean, what right? do you guys want to see? You guys are UFC fans. What do you guys want to see in a superstar? You guys want to see him fight, be active. Mm-hmm. Yep. You guys want to see him make weight. Mm-hmm. Those are, I mean, pretty simple things. Yeah. yeah. Making weight. The story of how I love an underdog, the guy who comes from nothing. That's why yeah. I really enjoyed Connor in the beginning. Yeah, was because he come you come from a slum dog millionaire type place, and you can create anything you want. Yeah, just by your hard work, dedication, and passion. Yeah. So Hamzat obviously got a hold of Kevin in the first round, and uh, yeah, but I put money on that for uh, my f- other parlay. By the way, fourth time. That Hamzat has that's, zero punches landed on him in a fight. That's crazy. How fucking crazy is that? Yeah. I we mean, do that when we play UFC games. We're like, holy shit, you didn't even hit me, bitch. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And that happens how many? Never. So to four times in your career in the UFC, yeah. you haven't been punched once. God, but, that was disappointing. Because uh, everyone, it's it's weird because it's like it was exciting and stuff, but it just was like, Maybe because we wanted Kevin to win, it wasn't as exciting. Yeah. I guess if you're oh, a Hamza diehard fan, you're yeah. like, oh, that's perfect. That's how we wanted to see. But he didn't if, even get a punch in. I know. I wanted to see a scrap. I want to see Kevin fucking land some shit, maybe wobble him, fucking, I don't know. It was Get some flip-offs. It would have been cool. Yeah. But Hamza is a scary, scary. motherfucker, dude, yeah. and very dangerous for the division. 